And now from the pages of New Mexico Magazine. When you hear the name Roswell, most people think of, well, aliens. Or maybe the New Mexico Military Institute. But lesser known is the fact that the city of Roswell also has a thriving art community. I was fortunate to have as my personal guide one of Roswell's native artists, Miranda Howe. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. I'm oh. so excited to be here. Thanks. Good to have you. Welcome to the Roswell Museum and Art Center. This is part of our art collection. This piece behind us is wow. Louis Jimenez, wonderful uh, fiberglass sculptor and printmaker. Miranda walked me through the many galleries at this museum, whose collection, while vast, does showcase regional and New Mexican art. And I must say, we represent well. There is a stunning display of work on these walls, and the vibrancy and boldness of these works really reflect the essence of our state and the Southwest. Actually, this piece was done by my cousin. Wow. Uh, he's a painter here in New Mexico and uh, depicting the Chisholm Trail and all the cattle drives that went on in this area in That's the early amazing. days. The Roswell Museum and Art Center has a huge archive of artwork and is constantly rotating its exhibits. So you're likely to see something new each and every time you visit. So I can't wait to see some of your artwork if it looks like this. Oh, well, I'm a ceramic sculptor and my work is in the next museum we're going to hit, the Anderson Museum of Contemporary Art. So oh, we'll go perfect. over there next. Cool. The Anderson Museum sits right along the railroad tracks and has become a beacon for the Roswell art community. So Michael, I wanted to introduce you to Dawn and Sally Anderson and How Sue Wink. Wonderful to meet you. <laughs> These are the visionaries behind the museum and the Roswell and Artists in Residency program of which I've been able to be a part and Sue works here and kind of keeps nice the gears you. rolling. I, I'm just walking in but the art is amazing. There's so much <laughs> color and thank you guys for starting and cultivating the arts in Roswell. It's really amazing. I couldn't believe we walked in the door and stumbled upon an opportunity to meet Don Anderson, a key catalyst for this burgeoning art scene in Roswell. And as I found out in our conversation, in his late 90s, Don still arrives for work at the museum every day. Talk about passion and commitment. Not to mention many of the paintings I am admiring on these walls are his. These walls are covered from floor to ceiling with some incredible artwork. Much of it by artists who participated in the Artists in Residency program Don founded. I never knew such exceptional art was being created right here in Roswell, and so much of it. This has been an eye-opening experience to say the least. Okay, so we're going to walk to where my piece is, yes. the work that I created while I was a resident. So I've been working on these large-scale ceramic pieces. Oh man, like um, big uh, building blocks, like what kids used to play with. Yeah, <laughs> like blocks, you know, I'm interested in architecture and geology and, and decorative patterning. So okay. I've been combining those into these kind of geotype forms. That's cool. Uh, you know, so cool. even though it's very time consuming, it's certainly what I'm driven to do. Right. The Roswell Museum and Art Center and the Anderson Museum of Contemporary Art are just two examples of Roswell's thriving art scene. And we've just scratched the surface here today. From the Creative Learning Center for Kids, community public art projects, to art leagues and co-ops, Roswell is truly a little known jewel in New Mexico's world-renowned art community. Once you've had your fill of art, head over to Big D's Downtown Dive to fill your belly. Spend some time wandering Main Street and delving into the many treasures at the Roswell Antiques Mall. Before your trip to Roswell, here are a few tips. Both museums are open seven days a week. For a trip to outer space, check out the planetarium at the Roswell Museum and Art Center. And be sure to get a great taste of the outdoors at Bottomless Lakes State Park, just 15 miles outside of town. To read the article on the Roswell art scene in New Mexico Magazine, go to newmexico.org.